Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. Real quick, before I get into this video, I want to tell you about PopCultureZone.com. They are a website specializing in comic books, some of the hottest variants, and CGC comics. And for those raw comics, if you are shipping to the domestic United States, you only pay $4.99 flat rate shipping. PopCultureZone.com. Now on to the video. What's going on guys, it's Brian with Some Man's Comics, back once again to give you my picks for comic books that are heading final order cutoff this coming Monday night. We are getting into August, summer is almost over, kids are about to go back to school. I don't know about you, but I'm kind of ready for my kids to go back to school. They've been living like college students, staying up all night, sleeping all day. Either way, we have some great picks this week. Again, DC Comics, Scout Comics, your final order cutoff is Sunday night, not Monday night, so it's important to know that. And I do have some DC Comics on the list this week, but we're gonna get into it right now, starting with Image Comics, first one I have up. This was also a comment that I received last week, like, hey, what about this book? Well, it wasn't FOC last week, it is FOC in this week, and we are talking about King Spawn number one. Huge title, this is one you're not gonna to wanna to miss if you're a Spawn fan, or if you're looking for a jumping on point for Spawn, King Spawn number one is one to get on. Hits FOC this Monday night. There's a bunch of great covers for it. There's also that crazy Todd McFarlane that is hand signed, hand numbered, and he has said that he is only gonna be signing this copy at this time. He will not be signing any more going forward. So if you're looking for that McFarlane goodness, get in on this one, but there's a lot of other great covers to choose from. I'm not a huge Spawn fan, but I'm looking forward to picking this one up and giving it a read. Also from Image Comics, we're hitting that 25 issue anniversary. That's what they're even calling it. But we get Ice Cream Man number 25. One of the best horror comics out there right now. Love these anthology story type comic books where you can pick up pretty much any issue and enjoy it. You don't have to read the previous issues before it. It kind of like Twilight Zone, Creep Show, Ice Cream Man is where it's at. We're hitting that 25th issue. And there's some great covers for this, as well as some great store exclusives, so be on the lookout for those. I always say pick up the cover A, but I am liking that Simmons variant as well. All the covers are great. Those are just the ones I like. But Ice Cream Man number 25, 25th issue anniversary, hits FOC Monday night. Moving over to Marvel, we get Winter Guard number one. That's right, that Black Widow movie just came out. And if you're a fan of Alexa the Red Guardian or Yelena the White Widow, this is a series kicking off with issue number one that you might be interested in picking up. I love these characters in the movie. They aren't new to the Marvel Universe. Of course, they've been around for quite a while. Either way, we're getting a new Winter Guard. And when they start exposing Russia's dark secrets, it puts them firmly in the crosshairs. That's how we're kicking off this series. A few great covers for this one. You have that regular cover A. There's also a regular price Ken Lashley variant and a Todd Knock headshot variant. Not a big fan of the headshot variants. Said so plenty of times, but I do like that Ken Lashley. So that might be the one that I pre-order. Also for Marvel, we get that Marvel Voices Identity number one. This is celebrating some of the greatest Asian superheroes by some of the greatest Asian creators. That's right, we're getting Silk, we're getting Shang-Chi, we're getting Miss Marvel, we're getting Jubilee. All the great Marvel Asian characters with some great creators and there's a whole bunch of them that are showcasing their writing skills and their art skills. Some great covers for this and they promise to be some surprises within the storyline as well. I think we are seeing a new renaissance between those Asian superheroes and I think we're gonna see more of that especially with I fully believe shang Chi's gonna be a successful film. We're starting to see Agents of Atlas has always been a popular one that's been a popular comic series. And Silk is coming to Amazon so we have creators, we have characters, and we have great artists. I love that Gonzalez variant. A lot of people are going to like that Peach Momoko variant, but I think there's a cover for everyone that suits your needs, and it's up to you to decide which one you want, or like I say, go Pokemon style and collect them all. But Marvel Voices Identity, I think is a great, great showcase for Asian talent and Asian characters. Also from Marvel, we're getting Darkhawk number one. Darkhawk is no stranger to Marvel. A lot of people, cult fan favorite for Darkhawk, but here we are getting a new person as Darkhawk with the young teen and Connor Young. 
Love this. I love how they did this with Nova. So we're going to also get this now with Darkhawk. But what even makes me more excited for this is that it is actually written by Kyle Higgins. Huge fan of Kyle Higgins. He wrote Power Rangers. He is... If you read Image Comics, he's writing Radiant Black. He's also written Nightwing before for DC. And he has recently written The Rise of Ultraman for Marvel as well. So we got a new superhero in Counter Young playing Darkhawk. We got a great writer behind this with Kyle Higgins. I'm on board for it. And right now it looks like I'm seeing four covers. We got three regular priced and an incentive one in 10 design variant. If there's more than that, I haven't seen it so far, but I'm not saying there isn't. And if you have found one, be, do me a favor, comment down below. Either way, this is FOC and Monday Night. And if you're a fan of Darkhawk or just getting a new superhero playing that character, this could be something that you might be interested in. Speaking of writers I love, we're getting over to some Tom Taylor goodness with DC Comics Superman Son of kal number two also hits FOC. Again, that is DC Comics, so it is hitting FOC Sunday night, not Monday night. Love the first issue. It just came out. We're getting issue number two. Jonathan Kent, Tom Taylor loving it so this is definitely going to my pre-order issue number two is going to have a cover b and hyuk lee variant as well as a cover c which is also keeping with that variant theme of the month where they have a suicide squad themed variant but superman son of kal number two picking it up then from source point press we get suicide jockeys number one this is a book I'm excited for. I had the creator on the channel for an interview, Rylan Grant, talked all about Suicide Jockeys. If you're an 80s fan, if you love those 80s action movies, if you love Roadhouse, if you loved Voltron, if you loved Power Rangers, it kind of matches all of that up together in this issue. In fact, I said, if you love Roadhouse, there is a cover B variant. That is a Roadhouse movie poster homage variant to that. Love that. Some people don't like homages. Some I do, some I don't. This is one I actually really like. But Suicide Jockeys, number one, it's hitting FOC. This is your chance to get in, get your order in for Suicide Jockeys, number one. A lot of comic book stores don't carry Source Point Press. If yours does, that's great. But there's a lot of people out there, especially with some of these indie titles, which is why I love indie comics. LCSs may not be aware of these, so if this is something that you want, let your LCS know, hey, could you please order this for me? That's why we have Final Art Cutoff. That's why I have this video to help the viewers out for comics that they might not be aware of. But for additional prints this week, I got two for you, and we are getting Dark Blood, number one, that great book from Boom Studios. It is going back to a third print. And then from Aftershock Comics, We Live, number four, is going back for a second printing. So there it is, guys. Those are my picks for comics. I have Final Art Cutoff. This coming Monday slash Sunday. Either way, let me know in the comments what books are you guys picking up. Let me know if there's something I might have missed that you guys are enjoying because I always love to hear what other people are picking up, what other people are collected. Most importantly, what people are most excited to read. That's why this is a great comic book community. But with that being said, guys, this is Brown Seven Minutes Comics. I will see you in the next video. Life is what you make it, my shit's been amazing I can't see a way out, I've been stacking face down Off canvases I painted, I just spent the rain day On shit I can't afford, but that's the price I pay For the memories I'm making, I've been going places